Okay, may I see uh, Brian Noval? In jail. Sir, uh, you were charged with aggravated assault with a deadly weapon, domestic violence battery. The court finds probable cause of their priors on them. Um, what is this case? Okay, what's that case for? What's the case number? What are they? <laughs> Got it. So it says he, uh, he uh, went after somebody with a knife. Uh, apparently, it, it looks like from the police report he was trying to snort uh, or smoke uh, some. I didn't know. How do you smoke prescription medication? Is that when you grind it up and you put it on a pipe? I think that's it. I think you grind up oxycodones and you never heard of something. It says it right here. It said he was trying to smoke his. I argument with my father and there was no weapon. All right. Well, whatever. Okay. Based on the facts of the case, going after someone with a knife, court finds uh, there is a danger to the victim. Court's going to set count one at 10,000. Count two, court's going to set that bond at 10,000. Court's going to order. He has no direct or indirect contact with Jesus Noval. No direct or indirect contact. Must stay 500 feet away from him at all times. Um, I'm going to order that uh, he's not in possession of any guns, weapons, firearms, or ammunition. Court's also going to revoke his bond on 098502CF10. You're going to be held no bond, sir, until further order of the court. Thank you. Me? Yeah, no, I'm not kidding you. That's the truth. You're not going anywhere. That's that's the truth. All right, thanks. All right, Suzanne Walt. My was battery. Oh wow, I know, man. But that's the oh, way life is. What did he say? Whoa, whoa, whoa! Bring him back. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Bring that guy back. Bring him back. Whoa, whoa, whoa! whoa. Hey, bring that guy back. You want him back? Yeah, I want him back right now. So what did you just say when you walked away? I called you a c because you're. Woo. That's did not you? The charges I had yesterday. Okay, hold on a second, sir. A sir, I'm, this court is inclined to hold you in contempt of court, and I want to know uh, from you. Give me a reason why I should not hold you in contempt of court. I'm, I don't see a reason why you shouldn't be because okay. there's not a reason yep. this should be here. Okay, sir, I find you in contempt of court for using that uh, type of language with the court you just used. And before I pass a uh, sentence on you, I'm going to ask you um, if you have anything to say before I pass sentence. Uh, I apologize. I was out of line. I'm just upset because this is not what I was charged with yesterday. Okay, I was sir. charged with a battery. I accept your apology, and I will uh, sentence you to 60 days in the Broward County Jail. Thank you. <laughs> Can I take the <laughs> back in? <laughs> All right, sir. Hold it. Come on back. Come on back, sir. Stupid. Sir, I'm gonna. Uh, sir, I'm inclined to hold you in contempt of court again. Would you like to tell me why I should not hold you in contempt of court for the last thing you just said? I asked if you're allowed to do that for me. All right, sir. Talk. Do you? I find you in contempt of court for the second time. You said that. Do you have anything else you'd like to say in mitigation of the second sentence I'm about to hand down? Uh, I was just asking my attorney if he can do that. All right, sir. You have nothing. I'm going to send you to another 60 days to run consecutive to the prior 60 days. So now you're up to 120 days in the Broward County Jail. Do you have anything else you'd like to say? Uh, no. All right, sir. Thank you very much. You're done. I didn't even know you can do that. All right, thank you. All right, I think you should move along. So it's going to be 60 plus 60, okay, to run consecutive. Thank you.
He's got no body. Yeah. I'm, I'm sure he was addressing his attorney out loud in front of the microphone in front of the court. I think he's a smart. I think he's a smart. No, that's no big deal, but I think he needed to have a message that he can't do that in the courtroom, all right?